Hey, welcome back to Whiskey Quest. I'm Antonio Perez, and today we are drinking Elijah Craig Kentucky Straight Bourbon Small Batch. Good friend of mine, John, gave me this bottle for Christmas. Thanks, John. Good looking out. Um, this is really good stuff. Um, it's another uh, beginner premium whiskey. Um, starts at like about 35 30 to 35 dollars so pretty good stuff for the price I mean uh, even if it was 40 bucks I, I paid the 40 bucks for this um, the color on this is a clear you know golden nice golden color um, 94 proof so 47 percent alcohol which is pretty good stuff which is what I look for now is a little bit more higher proof um, to get that that kick that I don't get on the other ones. Uh, I still get it, but it's you know it, it fades away pretty quick, and I like something that lingers there for a little bit so you can savor it. Um, on the nose, you get uh, the the usual you know maple and honey, but on this one and this one I get a a sweeter honey than other ones, and also right in the back. You get like a like a leather a leather scent right there. It's it's pretty nice. Oh man, pretty nice to just smell. I mean smelling and, and drinking. This this is good stuff. On the palate you get a get a sweet medium body, rich, creamy, spicy and hot. And it's a really long finish. I mean, it stays with you for a while. And like I said, I look for this higher proof stuff because it just stays there and, and, and you get to, you know, like really enjoy it. Same as the uh, Woodford Reserve. Um, you know, really, really good stuff. Uh, let me add a little water while I talk a little bit more about this. Really, really happy with these products. I mean... It's only thirty to thirty-five dollars, maybe even forty if you want to go up that high, and and that's just the beginning. Okay, here's the thing: if you spend a hundred dollars on a bottle, doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be the best in the world. Um, I mean, because like I said, I've tried some like really bottom shelf stuff, and it's you know it's been pretty good. So price doesn't really dictate how good the stuff is, but. Um, the older this stuff gets, I've seen that it starts, you know, costing a little bit more. Um, this one is between 8 and 12 years old. This, there's a no age statement on here. I think before it did have an age statement, and it was, uh, I believe, 12. I'm not sure, but um, don't quote me on that. But this one, I looked it up, and it says it's still around 8 and 12. So minimum is 8. Uh, that Russell's Reserve was 10, and, you know, that was that was pretty good stuff, too. Um, still is because I still got it up there. I haven't, I've been like kind of tempted to drink more, but I want to save it. Like I said, for uh, guests that come over, and I want to show them a really good drink. Um, so this is from the Heaven Hill Distillery, which is the same people that do the Evan Williams, and Evan Williams is one of my favorite uh, budget bur bourbons out there. And, you know, Heaven Hill, man, they, they do a lot of stuff just like, uh, you know, Wild Turkey, all these people there. They've been in the business for a while, and, and they know what they're doing. This one right here is 75% corn, 13% um, rye, and 12% malted barley. Um, I mean, the higher corn, it uh, gets you that, that sweeter, you know, sm smells on here. Let's try it with the uh, with the water here. It's a little less spicy. You get sweeter maple with a sour note in the back there. Um, still a long finish. Um, and that little sour thing is like kind of tangy. It's really good though. I like it. I like it. Um, 
I've been drinking this uh, without water pretty much, but um, you know, if you want to switch it up, just add a little bit of uh, water in there, let it open up and, and get those extra extra flavors that come out or changes a little. Um, so again, Elijah Craig Small Batch, 94 proof, can't go wrong with this one. Um, I say go get a bottle, add it to your collection, and uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.